Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A feature that Microsoft has been testing and has been on a controlled rollout over the last couple of months in the Microsoft Edge Canary browser is the new Quick Actions sidebar. And um, as mentioned, Microsoft has started to test that in Edge Canary, which is a pre-release version of the browser they used to test and experiment on new features. Now, I have noticed in my overnight update uh, to the Edge Canary browser on my Windows 11 laptop that I have finally received the new Quick Actions sidebar that has been on a controlled rollout in Edge Canary over the last couple of months. Now, the quickest way to enable the feature is to head up to the menu in the top right. And here you'll find Show Sidebar, and once clicked on, that will enable and toggle and pin the new sidebar to the right-hand side of the browser, which in its appearance looks very similar to the Office sidebar found on the left-hand side which is a feature you can toggle on and off in Canary, Edge Canary and the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Now, before we look at these new quick actions, um, another way you can enable the new sidebar is to head back to the menu. This time we click on settings, head over to appearance and in the appearance menu, yeah, you'll find a new toggle where you can turn the feature on and off. And also with the same update, I've noticed that there is a new discover button, but at this stage seems to be doing nothing because when I turn it on, uh, it doesn't place a shortcut button or any other feature in the browser or a shortcut button in the toolbar in the top right. And the reason for this could be though that there is a new discover quick action in the sidebar. So maybe that's the reason this is not working. And I've also noticed as well that one or two of the uh, shortcut buttons and features uh, that were found in the browser have also now been removed and have been placed in the actual sidebar. So, and those have now been removed from the uh, shortcut buttons and replaced and popped into the sidebar. Now, just to have a quick look at the new options in the sidebar, the first is search, which opens Microsoft Bing up in the in, in a site panel where you can do a search on Microsoft Bing and then just gives you some uh, access to some other news articles. And then the next is Discover, as mentioned, which at this stage looks like a news and interests feed. And then we get to Tools, um, which gives you access to a calculator, a unit converter, and an internet speed test. And I did try the internet speed test out before I posted and uh, made this video. And um, give or take, it is quite accurate. And then we get Games, which is one of the shortcut buttons and features I said has been removed from the toolbar and places uh, popular games and Microsoft Classic games into the same site panel. And then we get to Microsoft Office, which places um, Office shortcuts to the different Office apps uh, in the same site panel. And this is also another shortcut button that's been removed and now has been placed in the sidebar. And then we get uh, Outlook. Uh, which takes us to the uh, Outlook email client in the same side uh, panel. And at the bottom here, we have a customer sidebar, which gives access to some um, toggles where you can toggle um, different features on and off. And I think this is quite handy as if there are certain um, uh, quick actions, you know, you know, you don't require, you can just toggle those off. So that's quite handy. And then right at the bottom of this sidebar, we can we have the option to hide the sidebar and then we can just enable that again. And then we have the little gear settings icon, which takes you to the settings found in the browser, which I actually think is a nice handy option. Now, I have noticed as well with the update um, that rolled out the sidebar that Microsoft has removed the edge bar from the settings menu and the feature has disappeared from the Edge Canary browser. So it could be um, at this stage, and it hasn't been confirmed that the sidebar could be replacing the Edge bar as a lot of these features are very similar to what is found in the Edge bar in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. So if we just head over to the stable version and we just toggle the Edge bar on quickly. Um, the Edge bar, which I have posted on previously on this channel, here we can see it looks very similar. We've got Bing, Outlook and some other some other options uh, and settings which are very similar to the new sidebar. So hasn't been confirmed yet, but it is a possibility that uh, Microsoft could be replacing the Edge bar uh, with the new sidebar 
um, that's now been tested in Edge Canary. And I will keep you posted on that if I hear any developments. So just want to let you know, new sidebar now available in Edge Canary, um, which isn't available in the stable version. And at this stage, it's early days, Microsoft is testing it and um, could possibly roll out and replace the Edge bar in the stable version in the near future. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.